Curator of Collections here at the Filson, and welcome to another edition of Collection Reflection. Uh, I'm standing here by one of our largest landscapes and one of my favorites, it's Chapultepec, painted by Clement Reeves Edwards. Uh, he was actually a veteran of the Mexican War. This is Chapultepec Castle, which uh, stands outside Mexico City. It was part of the defenses of, uh, of the city in the Mexican War or the Mexican-American War, as it is often called now. Edwards was a veteran of the war. He was born in New Jersey in 1820. He apprenticed as a sign painter in 1838, and as so many sign painters, took up the practice of portraiture uh, and landscape painting. He moved up and down the East Coast a bit and joined in 1847, joined the Maryland, one of the Maryland regiments being raised to fight in the Mexican War. And uh, he ends up in Mexico in the Southern part of the campaign. In an earlier edition, when we were talking about Zachary Taylor, that was the Northern theater of the war uh, with Buena Vista, Monterey, Prosecco de la Palma, things like that. The Southern theater of the war was led by General Winfield Scott. And that was an amphibious landing, no naval landing, at Veracruz and then inland, the army moved to Mexico City. Fighting along the way, Cerro Gordo, uh, Molina del Rey, and then Chapultepec right outside Mexico City. So in September of 1847, the American army attacked the Mexican army and assaulted Chapultepec, and when Chapultepec fell, the defenses of Mexico City were open and the American army was victorious and marched in. Edwards was there and probably in working off sketches he took at the time, at a later date, uh, once he was back in the US and everything, he, uh, he painted this large landscape of what he remembered the uh, castle of Chapultepec looking like. Uh, very pastoral scene then with cattle and sheep and everything in the foreground. Uh, he moved to Kentucky at some point after the war. He was in Louisville for a while and then in the late 1850s he settled in Bowling Green and uh, spent the rest of his life down there not only as a portrait and landscape painter but as a photographer. So he was an early photographer as well, and later on actually became a farmer, bought a farm outside town and, and lived and spent the rest of his life in Bowling Green. When I first came to the Filson back in, way back in 1982, this that portrait or this painting actually hung over my desk. It was so dirty, you could barely see any of these animals, really nothing in the foreground. You could kind of see the castle up on top here. Uh, now you can see how wonderful it looks, and that's why uh, conservation for paintings can be so important and so helpful in not only preserving them, but bringing them back to the glory that they once had. Now, in addition to Edwards, there of course were thousands and thousands of American soldiers uh, fighting in the Mexican War, both in the Northern and the Southern campaigns. And one of those men were, was George A. Caldwell. Uh, George Caldwell was born in 1814 in Columbia, Kentucky, down in Adair County. A uh, prominent local family involved in government and, and the civic life of the city. He was trained as a lawyer. He served in the Kentucky and the U.S. House of Representatives. He volunteered in 1846 for the Army and served also in the Southern Campaign. We know that he was in a group of uh, a regiment called the Voltigeurs, uh, which were skirmishers, kind of advanced, foot soldier, rifle, rifle skirmishers. And as the story goes, he helped lead the charge as a major in the Voltigeurs up the heights of Chapultepec. And you can see the, the high mound, you know, almost uh, hill mesa that it was on, that he helped lead the charge. And for his bravery in that encounter, 
he was breveted a lieutenant colonel. And uh, he was uh, discharged, honorably discharged in 1848. He uh, came back to Kentucky, uh, took up the practice of law, served another term in the U.S. House of Representatives, and then moved to Louisville and spent the rest of his life in Louisville as an attorney and as an investor. And he became one of the most wealthiest men in town. And he died in 1866 and he's buried in Cave Hill Cemetery. Now, in addition to being a veteran of the Mexican War, there's another connection here, is that this painting is attributed to Clement Edwards. Uh, they perhaps knew each other from the army. Uh, their paths had crossed perhaps when Edwards set up shop in Louisville and, and Caldwell was already living here. Given the style of painting, this is probably from the 1850s. And so it makes sense that this may well be uh, uh, from Edward's time in the city. And in looking at Caldwell and his age, this all fits uh, very well with, with what that would have been. And this looks very much like Edward's works as a portrait painter. So again, we kind of talked in some earlier editions how you can compare and kind of connect the dots and whether this is by a certain artist or not. This is very much in the style and similar to other Edwards portraits that, that we've seen in books and actually have one other here in the collection. And so this is attributed to Edwards. So kind of a nice connection, not only service-wise in the army, but also uh, artist to subject. Thank you for joining us and we hope you'll, you'll join us again for another edition of Collection Reflections.